Are we good to go? Yep. Good, good to good. go. All right. Welcome to Over the Years. My name is Tim, and I love vintage items. I hunt for treasures and bring you the ultimate prizes of antiques, collectibles, and vintage decor. Join me, my dukes, my girlfriend Josie, and other guests as we search for history. So we are back. It is another weekend edition of what sold. So our weekend editions of what sold are what sold during the week, Monday through Friday, across all the platforms we sell on. Uh, lately, we've been trying to mix in other interesting things during our what sold videos. So this video, I will show you a couple of new pieces that I picked up uh, recently. That or you'll see, you'll see. So we are fresh off a epic live video that I did with Cernox Connection, where I unboxed 179 boxes, I mean 179 hats, and it is insane. So I'm definitely gonna put a link up there. You have to see it. It is crazy, crazy, crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into what sold this week. We are going to start with what sold on, do, 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 we're gonna start with eBay, eBay it is. All right, so the first thing that sold on eBay Monday through Friday was this Manchester United Nike jersey from the 2006-2007 season, the away jersey. And the buyer bought that for $20 plus shipping. Next up, a remote control I've had sitting around for a while. Somebody sent me an offer and obviously I took it. It was a Direct TV Hughes remote control, and that was seven dollars plus shipping. Next up, we got a big buy. I, I wish I had like a like a chinging sound effect, like a doo -doo 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 -doo, like a uh, a bullhorn, like you know, I might have to throw some in there. This is a big buy. Enter sound effect. This was a uh, piece that Ma Dukes and I picked up. Don't 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 don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Dukes and I picked this up when we went thrifting after the auction. Um, I'll put the link up there for you for that video. It was really rad. This was a vintage Murano glass, mid-century modern, red and green uranium glass vase. Uh, and this sold for $114.99 plus shipping. Next up, this was a vintage wrap tee, 90s street cartoon wrap crew neck sweater made in the USA. I pulled this out of my vintage mystery unboxing. Um, again, I'll throw a link up there for you guys to check that out. Uh, we've been doing pretty well off of that box so far. Uh, the buyer bought this for $39.99 plus shipping. Next up, I have this vintage Nintendo Game Boy pocket adapter cable transfer wire. Uh, this was the third wire of this bundle that I sold that all came with a bunch of like accessories. Uh, the buyer bought this for $8.99 plus shipping. Next up was this really rad piece. Um, this is this is one of those items as you know if I had space I would might have kept uh, but this was a really nice vintage arts and crafts era. It was a bronze art deco cigarette box made in Denmark. And the buyer was all in on that piece for $79.99 plus shipping. Next up was another one of these uh, little handheld games, electronic games. This one was still in the package. It was a uh, Travel Casino Vegas Slots handheld video game. Uh, brand new. I think it was from 98. And that sold for $13.49 plus shipping. Next up, we have this uh, continue the streak. The Jasper Wear streak is 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 going. It's like six weeks in a row. We sold Jasper Wear during the week and on the weekend. This was a vintage Wedgwood Jasper Wear pale blue. Now the thing that was crazy about this is I could not figure out what the exact um, pattern name was, but it had like this like swirling going on. Uh, it was a cup and saucer, and I took a best offer on that for twenty seven dollars plus shipping. Next up, shout out to my man Ronnie Hart from Hart's Pickers. I sold a Brioni. This is a Brioni pastel striped button-up shirt uh, made in Italy. It was a size small, and the buyer bought that for $34.99 plus shipping. 
And we also sold another Manchester United soccer jersey. Uh, this one was 2009-2010 season away jersey. Uh, it was it had the number 9. It had the last name S-T-U-L-L on the back. It was also a size small. And the buyer bought that for $28.79 plus shipping. Next up, I uh, got this uh, Walkman Jensen new in the package. Um, picked this up at a thrift store in Virginia when I was out with Josie and her dad. And this sold for $28.79 plus shipping. Then we have another crew neck. This crew neck got a lot of love across all the platforms we were on. I always was getting low ball offers on every platform. Finally, somebody budged and bought the, it was like embroidered on there, super rad. Made in the USA, uh, University of Missouri. And they bought that for $28.79 plus shipping. Now, we have a, another, this was an order this gentleman bought two pieces of uranium glass from us on eBay. The first one was this vintage vintage Fenton uh, Topaz Opalescent Cactus was the cactus is the name of the pattern. It is a uh, opalescent topaz Vaseline glass and it was a banana bowl. Uh, the buyer bought that for $95 plus shipping. And the next piece he bought was this vintage uranium glass condiment dish with the carrying caddy and that sold for $30 plus shipping. Um, I did combine the shipping and give him a refund on shipping. He's a really nice guy. Uh, always enjoy when you get a customer who really appreciates the pieces and is pleasant to work with. So shout out to that guy. Um, and that was actually another piece from our video on how to photograph uranium glass. So I'll put a link for that video up there for you guys. And thank you, God. Another pair of Furbies is out the door. Uh, this was a, um, the, the Pekin, Pekin Boo. You like press the button and the, the ears come over the eyes. And that's out the door for $6 plus shipping. Um, this was a next piece was another really cool piece. This is a vintage jadeite glass. It was a rocking uh, Scottish Terrier and it's an ink blotter. Um, and the buyer bought that for $35 plus shipping. And next up on eBay was this uh, Disney Pixar's Cars car still in the package. Um, I got this in a bundle of like still in package cars from a grab bag at a thrift store. Uh, I'll maybe only have one left, so I've already been weighing the profit on that. So this is out the door for four seventy nine plus shipping. Uh, then we sold another piece from our vintage camera and lens lot. I'll put a link up for that video up there for you. This was a super Alvinar auto tele converter two times for Nikon, uh, and that was out the door for nineteen ninety nine plus shipping. Next thing to sell on eBay this week was these vintage Winnie the Pooh lot of four. Uh, so they're like these like carrying cases and inside is like figurines of with like a setting. It's like all these different ones like a picnic and a bedroom. But so I got these things and they comped out really well when I when I bought them. But the thing was, is they had tape all over them. You remember that? Oh, that sticky packing tape. Oh, it was awful. I worked on getting it off. Josie worked on getting it off, and it still. Had if, I mean, some there was it was it was still. I mean, I had to write in the description like this thing has sticky residue all over it. Like you literally could put these boxes next I to each did. other and I they would put stick them together, <laughs> and they stuck together into one big box. Which so was yeah, it was crazy. International buyer on that one, uh, but yeah. They sold sixty three dollars and ninety nine cents plus shipping on that. Did you pay for those? I paid four dollars a pop. Oh, okay. So sixteen dollars. I was in on those. Thank God and Greyhound, they're gone. Yeah, I mean, and th the thing was, is they were sitting around for so long because we were going to try and take all that sticky stuff off, but it wasn't. Dead. After we tried, I was just like, I realized it. I was like, this is never going to happen. It's just going to sit here. I'm just going to list it. Like whatever, get it out of, get it out of here. It was almost like a mini death pile. Yeah. And we're still selling big jackets. I don't know. I mean, and people will tell you list things at certain times of the year. I'm sure, yeah, you might get more. But you know what? If I get a jacket, I'm going to list it. Because I don't want to sit around. And I've had I've had this up since when it was cold. And it sold. There's only one jacket left? One big jacket left, yeah. 
Mm. And there's a couple of other ones that I haven't listed. You haven't listed those? No, there's one. No, for? there's one over there. Oh. There's the Dallas Cowboys starter jacket that needs to be re soaked. Because you don't want to touch that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Cowboy so jacket. this was a LL Bean khaki Gore Tex Polar Tech heavy khaki jacket with hood size large. I'm the buyer bought that for $49.99 plus shipping. So, that is everything that's sold on eBay this week now i'm going to show you what sold on poshmark depop and grailed grailed but before i do that i'm going to show you guys something that i just got in the mail today we'll be right back so i've been trying to find inventory on other platforms just to see because you know i realize that a lot of times people don't might not necessarily know what they have and if they do sometimes mm -hmm. i feel like i can get more money for something than somebody else might be able to um this is really cool can you see it try it sideways like this so you can see her laying down you know that there you go so this was made by westmoreland um it is a soap dish i'm i have to look in my book and what the exact name of it is uh but I think some people refer to it as a ballerina, ballerina, ballerina bathing or bathing ballerina or bathing beauty. Reclining lady. Or is lady in dish. tub. <laughs> but this is a Vaseline glass piece. I don't know if you guys can see that glow. Yeah, it glows. But it, uh, it is rad. Look at the head. Yeah, and it's super detailed. Look at that. Can you see that? Bring it back in a little bit more about there yeah that's good pretty cool stuff so i paid 13 dollars for this on macari um i think i can at least get 30 maybe even 45 so i'll take some pictures of this and list it on etsy and ebay i uh, probably won't list it on macari just because i well, uh, where'd you buy it from? Macari. Okay, well, I would not list it on Macari. <laughs> so yeah, so this is a pretty rad piece. Uh, I'm pretty stoked about that. And then also, I got this uh, bundle of patches. Now, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with these yet. I don't know if I'm going to sell them off individually, if I'm going to lock them up, if I'm going to try and maybe put some of them on some blank hats that I have. Um... Oh, geez, I, don't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> but I got to definitely do some uh, research on them. Because some of them are probably like super local patches, but some of them are like really cool patches. So this is a uh, McDonald Douglas 4th Annual Run for Fun from 1981. This one is the same thing. This is the first annual Run for Fun from 1978. I have no idea what this is. Regardless of age, 30 and out now, $650 minimum. Col 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 clause. No deduct reduction. I don't know what that is. But this one still has like the paper on it too. I have to research that. This one is cent Centennial Sanctioned. Century LA. I don't know what that is, but it's from 1980. It looks like Centennial Sanctioned Century. I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know what this one is either, but it's pretty cool. Oh, wolf, yeah, pack. wolf pack. I like the colors H -H. on that. Now this one is really rad. This is from the Frontier Hotel and Gambling Hall in Las Vegas, Nevada. I believe this casino is closed now, but that's a really cool patch. I don't know what this guy is either. I might just be. This one says I helped America win USA Olympics. This is the league champion of the WIBC. I'm not sure what that is yet either. 76 to 77. Another one of the Olympic ones. This is another really cool one. Now, this one's got some damage on it though. But... Continental Airlines Maintenance. I th Airlines stuff always seems to do really well. Next up, we have a League of American Wheelmen. That's a pretty cool one. Another WIBC champion. I gotta figure out what that is. 
Another I Helped America Win patch. Jeez. This one is really rad. I, I, this was one of the ones I, I comped out. Um, this one was the Presidential Award, Sports Award for Bicycling. And this is another airline one. This is really cool too. Old school Continental. I think that's what that is. Uh, yeah, Continental. There was a comedian that used to do a, a skit about <laughs> Continental Airlines. And then this one is really cool. Get a oh, USA. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. So I picked up all those patches. Uh, maybe like, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I paid eight dollars for 18 of them. Yeah. That's not bad, right? Yeah. That's like. Yeah. You should be able to get anywhere from. We'll see. Some of those it's might like be worth. Hats, you know, there's yeah. somebody might be, you know, who used to work for Continental Airlines might want those patches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, get right back into what sold this week. We interrupt this program for a moment with Ma Dukes. Oh, damn, the application went down. <laughs> this reminds me of. Mr. Lee, the transmission guy at Montgomery Hills. I don't know how the hell he found anything. That place was a wreck. But you cannot find a better uh, transmission repair guy than Mr. Lee. I don't know where he was from, an island somewhere. St. Kitts, maybe. I don't know. But Jamaica. He was a pretty cool dude. All right, let's see if this Jasper will now work. I think you had some old batteries. Either that or maybe I put... I don't think I put the batteries in wrong because it, it did light up. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The long, hard day of listing or thrifting. But we can't thrift anymore. Ouch, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good idea. Come on. Okay, back to work. So we did make a few sales on some of the other platforms. Uh, believe it or not, we've been on a roll with Macari, but we didn't make any sales on Macari Monday through Friday. I did make one sale on Depop, one sale on Grailed, and one sale on Poshmark. So we'll go ahead and start with Depop. On Depop, I sold these Nike uh, Meadow, text Meadow, Meadow Textile uh, men's uh, shoes. They were size 10, I believe. Um, and these, these, when I first listed them, I got a lot of likes and offers on Grailed and um, Poshmark and, and on Depop. Eventually somebody bought them on Depop and they were all in for 70, well not all in, they paid $74.99 plus shipping. So that was a nice sale on Depop because you know the fees are a lot less on that. And then on Grailed, I sold this vintage Nautica fleece quarter zip and it sold for $58 and that included shipping and that went to Australia, I believe. Australia and New Zealand be buying a lot from me on Grailed. It just sucks because right now everything is taking forever to get overseas in international orders. So, I mean, I've had a few, I had this one sweatshirt that went to France that took over a month, so. Oh, is everybody all tickety-boo now though? No, there's, no? there's still the, some hanging out Still there? some hanging out, I gotta double check in on that. And then on Postmark, we sold another item from our Mystery Vintage Unboxing. This was a Redskin Super Bowl sweatshirt, and it was from 1988, and that sold for $34 on Postmark. So now we're going to go ahead and jump into what sold on Etsy. It was actually a fairly slow week on Etsy, but we did have a couple of really nice sales. So we're going to start with this, which I thought was really cool, but obviously it wasn't necessarily the best buy. Uh, I had it for a very long time. It's a vintage Hong Kong amber glass lamp, like an oil lamp. And on, around it was a, uh, had a, like an old school map on it. So I thought it was cool, but obviously nobody else did until just now. But the um, 
the buyer was all in on that for $25 even. The next thing that sold was this uh, really awesome set of mid-century modern glasses. They were like uh, rocks glasses and they came with um, glass swizzle sticks also. Josie actually f saw spotted these first when we went thrifting one day at like a local church op shop. And I can't remember how much we paid for them. I want to say it was like $14 maybe. But anyways, the buyer was all in for that entire set for a grand total of $119.94. So that was a really nice flip. Great, great. This is a thing. I've missed being able to go thrifting and yard selling with, with Josie. We just, we, hopefully this stuff will be over soon enough for us to do it. Not over, but at least Not, be able yeah. to go in with your mask and exactly. your gloves and, and, and control settings. Yeah, so. Which I think is next on the list. Yeah. But not our county. I know. We're hot spots. So the next thing that sold was this vintage Tierra exclusive made by Indiana Glass Company. It's this really awesome shaped, um, I guess it was a vase, but it could have been a decanter if you really wanted it to be. Um, and it's a uh, manganese glass, so it will uh, glow under, it'll glow like a bright orange underneath uh, UV light, which is pretty cool. And the buyer was all in on that for $41.92. Next up on the What Sold on Etsy, another Pyrex bowl. <laughs> I need more Pyrex. So this was a vintage Pyrex Woodland Round Mixing Bowl 403. The buyer was all in for that bowl for $25.41. Next up was this uh, Nippon, which is really just a slow seller. But there are a lot of people out there that do really like Nippon. This was a vintage hand-painted Nippon pitcher with gold trim. Uh, and the buyer was all in on that piece for $47.99. Next up is another piece of uh, carnival glass. This is obviously more of a modern kind of carnival glass, but we did pick this up in our auction hall. It was a vintage imperial glass, marigold carnival glass, beaded jewels candy jar, and the buyer was all in on that for $25.07. And last but not least is this vintage hall china Autumn leaf. We've I don't know. We've seen a lot of this lately. And we missed a whole bunch at the auction just before lockdown. Remember when yeah. we were at the auction? There was a table full of several bowls. Yeah, I mean, and it, it, but it, you really have to get this stuff at the right price. You know, but we do sell. We do fairly well on it. We have historically. Um, and this was a uh, nine-inch bowl, and this the buyer was all in for thirty-three dollars and thirty-seven cents. So before we wrap up, I guess I do kind of want to show this lighter off. It's really pretty. So I got two of these lighters. Now these are like super dope lighters. Um, they're actually um, vintage advertising lighters. Tap it out. Here, uh, here we go. So this is a Rosen. Uh, Ros yeah, Rosen. Nesser is the name. The Nesser is the type the type of lighter. Rosen is the company that made the lighter. And this was made specifically for Ballantines. I guess that's how you say it. Which made um, gin. Gin. And whiskey. Now, can you see that? Yeah. Tip it back towards you a little. There you go. Flip it around. Flip it back towards you. Good job. Yeah. So I got two of these lighters. Um, one of them actually came in this Valentine's box. There must have been something else in it originally. And then I got the second one. They're both like unused, I would imagine. Um, but yeah, they're in amazing shape, as you guys can see. That's good. Turn it around. Let's see what the other side looks like. Get your fingers up. Yeah, bring it in a little more. There you go. Nice. Yeah. So I got, it's got the card with it. Yeah, too. this one's got this little little thing with guarantee. Yeah. So I can't remember how much did I say I paid for these. I think I paid. It wasn't cheap. It wasn't cheap. I think I paid like twenty dollars a piece. 
But I think I can sell each of these for $75. So $40 to $175 is not bad at all. No. I'll take it any day. I mean, I just... I'm a su so that's one of the biggest regrets I have is when, if you haven't seen there's a video on our channel where Josie and I go to DC Big Flea and we bought a whole bunch of lighters. I should have bought that whole basket. basket of them because those are those do the mid vintage mid century modern lighters do really well, really well. So if I ever come across them, I usually try buying. But like with something like this, it's like. You know, somebody who's a lighter collector, somebody who's a vintage advertising collector, you know, like it'd be great decor. Somebody might actually use it. Like it's just, I, I always love those items that are cross, um, collectible. yeah, cross collectible. So that wraps up this video. I want to thank you all as always. Make sure you guys go check out that live with uh, Sernok. It is epic. We, we hit the jackpot on those hats. I'm still looking at it. <laughs> so yeah thank you guys as always don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and we'll see you guys on monday peace